And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Baseball coming up on this Memorial Day. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set. And today's starting pitcher, Bailey Ober. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Yeah, this guy's been real stingy, man. Not allowing guys to play the game, just keeping them at home plate. I mean, just ridiculous. Sub one whip. I mean, he's dominating hitters. A guy like this in the mound, one of the elite starters in the game right now. Ready to go now. And to the plate for Kansas City, number 11. On the corner for a strike. And we are underway in game one of the series. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Got him swinging for a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. They had him out front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't hey. sit back long enough on that one. Dyrone Blanco stands in now and watches strike one. Now oh, sorry, one and one. Ball. And he hits a ground ball right side. Whips it to Kirillov. Two up, two down. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Out to short, Correa. Whips it to first, and Witt is out. Royals set down in order. Nothing doing for the Royals. And now the Twins will go to work on offense. We've got. Back here with my pal Siggy. And on the mound in this one, Jordan Lyles. Well, it's no secret he's had his struggles at the big league level. Career ERA over five. But today's a new day. He's going to take the baseball, go out there and compete. I can't wait to watch. Byron Buxton, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Royce Lewis in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. In the air, right field. Red throw on his horse. Flashes the leather on the running catch. That's out number two. And here comes that Carlos is. Correa. Not sure. Not sure. Carlos. Oh, Miles checks the runner. And he dives back in safely. That one down the line. They get the force. That ends the inning. And we're back. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Nelson Velasquez. Over, back to work. Rip to short. And quickly one away in the second. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. That misses the zone. 1-0. Perez in his 13th season, 33 years old. And he was selected for the All-Star game last year. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses. And a couple of quick outs. And here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. That one finds the zone. Going one. No score here in the second. Nope. 
just missed. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Royals. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the first, first baseman, Ray. Alex Kirillov. The first baseman, Alex Kirillov. Down the line. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Way high. One ball, one strike. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Under it. And it's caught for the out. Brian Jeffers at the plate. Knock right field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Showing willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And he deals. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Wallmer. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. That's ripped. Base hit. Throw in hopes the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Here's Trevor Larnick. Two outs. In the air, out towards right center. Trying to track this one down. Can't reach this one. It gets down. One runs in, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. In the score from first, it's 2-0. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through the clutch to drive in a pair. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his backpack to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Here's Byron Buxton. Struck out swinging, leading off the bottom of the first. That one out to right. Renfro in position. He makes the grab. And that is that. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And it's two zip. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Right through there for a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. And the righty deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. A line to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. Drew Waters stands in. A little out front there as he swings through it. Frazier, the base runner at first with one out. And foul ball. Got it down for the play. Well, he made pretty good work of him right there. You look at the sequence. Everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. And that's a two-out double. Cut off. Now a throw home. And he's out. It's exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. And 
welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Edouard Julien. Oh, and the no first time. offering is not close. This one in the air. Has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. One up, one down. Here's Royce Lewis. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0 1. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it. And sometimes it's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Count one and, oh. and a pitch out, but nothing going on. One of the things with Correa, the impact he makes, not just on offense, but defense as well. The guy who's won a platinum glove as the best defender in the American League. Probably my favorite note, though, on Carlos Correa. He likes to, before games, go to a regular old batting cage and take BP with his dad. Man, at first, one away. Here's a swing to drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. Home run number 10 of the year. It's 4-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Impressive how he was able to go down and get this fastball, but yet get it up in the air, get it far enough to get out of this ballpark. One down, and here's the first baseman, Alex Kirilov. Misses the zone, and he gets him to chase. All ones, the count. Just kind of slice that one into center. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside. But that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So first and second with one gone. And now for the Twins, Max Kepler, Pasquantino. To second, there's one. Back to first, double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. But the Twins bring in two on the homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. Start of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Dyrone Blanco. Right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. Up the middle, Correa. Over to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Witt Jr. is one of only two players in ALNL history to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in each of his first two seasons, Boo. The other player, Julio Rodriguez. Comebacker to the mound. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. So up now for Kansas City, Nelson Velasquez. Right through there for a strike. Two outs, bases empty. Foul ball still 0-2. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So up next, Matt Walmer. The wind of the pitch. 
Hey. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Riding to the plate. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. So up next for Minnesota, Trevor Larnick. Oh, well. Chase that time. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses oh, and making that defense work behind it. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Stays alive. The 2 2 on the way. That Thank one you. missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. Out towards left center. Blanco makes the play. Out number two. Man at first, and next for Minnesota, Edouard Julien. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Ball. And there's a ball. And a ball lifted left field on his way over. And that will end the inning. Ready now for the fifth inning. And here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. That one finds the zone. And it's 0-1. Well, these Royals just lacking discipline at the play in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game. And it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. It misses. It's a strikeout. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch, where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball. And then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. And the first oh. two set down on the top of the fifth. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Royce Lewis. And a pitch. Swings through that. Lewis measures six feet, two inches. 24 years old. He's been scoring a lot of runs lately. He scored nine times in the last ten games. The one one is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. What Lewis checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. Did not go. Out towards right center field. Renfro getting an angle on it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Now Correa up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. 
Correa. And first offering is fouled off. Correa, the former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012, and he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015. That's towards center. Waters hooks it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Here's Alex Kirilov. In the air, center field. Waters coming on. Makes the grab after a long run. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's Adam Frazier. That's the ball. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a foul straight back. Right hander kicks, deals. And a swing and a miss. One away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And first offering is fouled off. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Ball nope. one there. Ball one. Oh, 2 count, you got the opportunity to one expand ball. the zone. You could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with three. next. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. And it's fouled away. And here it comes. There's the strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Tyrone Blanco. In there, and it's 0-1. The Twins leading by four as we play game one of this four-game series. Bounce to the right, Julian. They take the force out, and that is the inning. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Sauer. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. And the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Next Ball offering three. misses down and away. We got two balls, one strike. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Took the extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. He was all over that one. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra oh, bases. No Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. Man, it's second. Foul ball. Tracked the ball right there and was able to get through that fastball just a little bit late. Otherwise, it stays fair. I think if the top hand is a little stronger, same swing produces a home run. The one-two on the ground, right side. Frazier, one away, bottom of the sixth. Matt Walmer digs in now. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Ball one. This one in the dirt and well done to keep it close. Left hand batter waits. That one the other way. And a base hit knocks in a run. Comes through with the RBI. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. Trevor Larnick, the next twin up to hit. 
First Whoa, offering and it just misses. One run across in the frame so far here in the bottom of the sixth. Damn. Late on that fastball. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Colin, those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Squirts away a little bit. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Kicks and deals. That's the third dive, and he's got it from his knees. The throw yeah. over to Frazier Thank to Jesus. first, not in time. Great effort there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop, then a nice speed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. And now the center fielder, Byron Buxton. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. And a swing and a miss. More and more guys are no looking ball, to slug strikes. regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the lead is now 5 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Top of inning number seven. Now it's the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. There's a strike. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. You got to get on your horse and get to that ball and get it back in because he's going to come barreling around first and put some pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, it's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Started after the 0-1 pitch, and now a check down to first. Didn't go. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here at the top half of inning number seven. So a foul ball makes it one and two. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, oh. I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. To first, what a play. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And it stays fair. In comes the runner from third. It's 5-1. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Vinny Pasquantino will hit next. I say you win. On one. That Aye. catches the zone for a strike. Oh, with two no now. Two strike. On the ground. Yeah. And that's just foul. And yeah, the right hater deals. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Oh, strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And that misses off the outside edge. Perez at second with two down. And down on strikes. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. It's now a five. And we're back, bottom of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Activity in the bullpen. Chris Stratton, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Brents getting loose as well. That will back up the middle, and it gets through. 
and the leadoff man aboard. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. And here is Royce Lewis. Right side. Renfro calls it in, and there's one away. The batter number Here's four. Here's Carlos Correa. He's already homered in this game. Correa. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. There's a swing and a drive. That one is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 7-1. Exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Chris Stratton taking over on the mound. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So, this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Now, a chance for Alex Kirillov. Swings through that one. Oh, one. one. The count. And Had that's downstairs and outside. One and one. One out, base is empty. That oh, one that off did. the mark. And a count two and one. Late that time, it's strike two. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Ryan Jeffers now at the plate. Three for three with two singles and a double. That nope, missed inside. Nope. Ball one. Two down, nobody on. Fought off foul. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Drops into the glove, and that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run homer. And the lead is stretched to 7 1. You're watching Minnesota Twins Baseball on the show North. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Hey. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Over into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Next to hit, Drew Waters. Inside corner for a strike, going one. Pitch count in great shape. It seems he might have a chance to finish it. The Royals with a lot of ground to make up. And we're at the top of the nope. eighth. Two one. On the ground a second, might be two. Good feed, that's one. Throw to first, safe. No, he Here's the third baseman. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, That's an out. three, double play. And the inning is over. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now for the Twins, Max Kepler. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Stratton back to work. Oh, that's and that's outside. And it's 1-0. Oh. Bullpen action for the Royals. Nick Anderson up and loosening in the pen. Brents warming up as well. That one ripped right center field. Renfro moving back for it. Paul 
Rolls it in on the warning track. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit. That clips the corner. Stratton, a 6-2 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a slurb, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. Next pitch is downstairs. One ball, one strike. He swings and fouls one off. One two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Base is empty one away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Hard ground ball base down. Now at the plate Trevor Larnick. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Walner at first, one gone. Yeah. A big swing and a miss. Man, he really ball, sells the changeup with that arm action. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And they'll do it again. And a one two. And two another ball. ball. That one misses. And it's three and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. 0 for 4 with a pair of strikeouts and a pair of flyouts. Swings through that one for strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. In the dirt, blocked. Runner holds. Count goes to two and one. Swing and a miss. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next pitch is outside. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Right side, Pasquantino. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And we're back. We go to the ninth. Here's the left fielder, Dyrone Blanco. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Just a weak fly ball this time. And he can't make the play. That's one of those errors you make as an outfielder where you just can't believe it. You want to fall into the grass. Every outfielder at some point muffs an easy one like that. But it feels like one of the most embarrassing things you can do. Hey, we all caught pop-ups in the middle. Nothing particularly difficult about that. When he just didn't see it all the way and put the squeeze on it, I'm sure it won't happen again. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nelson Velasquez. To short, could be two. There's one. And that's a double play to end it. 
It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shabby saying so long.